I'll do. So how did Khalif get out? I'm going to tell you who helped him. Uh, Rumour Mill is thriving. I've had people contact me from Wandsworth. But, interestingly enough, also had an officer from Belmarsh contact me. Belmarsh, Belmarsh, high security jail, uh, synonymous with people of terror, held there. Um, yeah, all singing, all dancing, prison, not. Yeah, Belmarsh is doing no better than anywhere else. Short staff, a lot of long-term sick. Stevie, come on. This way, kid. People suspended, stressed, working under minimum staffing levels. That's exactly what you say. You know, again, if there's uh, 10 people to do a job, open a wing and an SO, and you've got five, they're doing it. People do it. They try and make things work. Because nothing worse than angry prisoners who are locked up all day and not getting out. However, it should be safety first. People are already angry. Assault's happening every day. So a bit of an expose coming on Belmarsh. Back to Wandsworth and Khalif, who helped him get out. Well, first of all, he, he was at Belmarsh, I believe. So how do you move from one prison to another? You can put in a request. <laughs> I, don't, <laughs> I doubt very much you're putting in a request. So possibly it was a lockout. He's gone to court, maybe. Uh, what happens is the reception is open during the day. Your prison fills up. When you come to go back to your prison, it's locked out, so they send you to another prison. When prisoners go to court, they were making prisoners take all the property, even if they were in a long-term establishment, because you can't guarantee a place. Yeah? There's a straight transfer again. I don't think that'll have happened. There's an overcrowding draft. Overcrowding draft is what it says. Your prison's full. You need spaces for court. You ship 20 prisoners out wherever to another prison. Overcrowding draft. <laughs> security move. A security move. You get ghosted. No, he's not being ghosted, has he? So, very fortunate in getting to Wandsworth. Now let's talk about Wandsworth quite seriously. So this lad's gone there. Um, Stevie? Stevie, come on. This lad's gone there. Been talking to uh, a couple of staff from Wandsworth as well. Very interesting. Um, very stressful, like everywhere at the moment in the prison service. Way understaffed, no morale, inexperienced management, corrupt management, getting away with things, uh, and not leading the troops, all for the prisoners. Familiar story across England and Wales. So, the risk assessment. He's on a wing, he's applied for a job in the kitchens. So what's a risk assessment involved? So you look at everything, his pre-cons, uh, index offence, what he's arrested for, any history, knowledge. For instance, if Khalif was arrested and had a knife, yeah, and maybe threatened people with that knife, perhaps he wouldn't be the best candidate for the kitchens. Yeah, all these things are taken into account. He might have just had a knife on him, however, that counts. Now, these risk assessments, if anyone had done it properly, it wouldn't have been risk assessed to work in the kitchen. So it either hadn't been done or it's been incompleted. So who takes the fall for that? The prison officer who was doing that? No. The department, security department, has to take the fall. There's a governor. Yeah, there's a governor, a CM, which is like an old principal officer, just for those new to the channel. You've got prison officer, senior officer, still in uniform, next one up. He used to be principal officer and now I think it's a CM, again in uniform, one up and then governors. So all them ranking people are working that security department. Like I said before, shit rolls downhill in the prison service. A lot of it needs to be rolling uphill in this prison and others, yeah? Can't blame one person, security department, say, well, if you was in a kitchen or if you hadn't have, or if you'd have done the risk assessment you weren't in the kitchen and once you got out, you know what I'm saying? So quite definitely he's had help there. Security department, nice one, they've helped him. He's in the kitchen. Again, rumour mill. I've had people who work there tell me, and others. POA, Prison Officers Association, Union Gathering. Yeah, I don't know whether it was a national conference. A couple of people from there told me that the kitchens at Wandsworth, the civilians, they don't do roll checks, head count. Everywhere in a jail, can have a standing roll at any time, any prison. Standing roll is just that. 
every area of the prison where there's prisoners, you all phone in, yeah, to the ECR, and you give your numbers and it should add up. If you've got 1,500 prisoners, prisoners all over, it should add up to 1,500. If not, you do a recount, etc. Being told quite definitely that they don't do roll checks in the kitchen, I find that really hard to believe. However, this lad has been in there. He's been unsupervised quite definitely. I mean, for me, uh, you know, if Khalifa had come back into the kitchen uh, with his nice white t-shirt and it maybe had, I don't know, oil on it or grease, axle grease, that might suggest that it had been down around and under a vehicle having a look. But again, that had never happened, would it? Because it supervised that vehicle. Quite definitely not. If I think of the worst officers who don't escort vehicles or OSGs, operational support grades, who do escort vehicles, yeah? If they're there with that vehicle, don't matter how lazy they are, how rubbish they are at their job, he's not getting under that vehicle, quite definitely. So for me, that vehicle's not been escorted. And if it has been escorted, somebody's left the post. That's how he's got under, so pat on back. He's another, ad, another helping hand there, quite definitely. Yeah, so he's now under the vehicle, the gate, and here's the one. Two gate staff have been suspended. That's what it says in the press. Uh, looks like these two people will probably be the fall guys. However, this jail is run rubbish. The number one governor, ultimately, is responsible. He's in charge of the business. I worked under a governor, Mr. Vince. Dickie Vinci, I remember having a conversation. He was in charge of Strangeways, yeah. He's responsible for the health, safety and care of everyone who works for him and everyone in his custody, all the prisoners. He's in charge of the cleanliness, the running of the business, the finances. Ultimately, like he said, he's responsible, yeah. So the number one governor has got to take a hit on this. Again, he can't cover things up. For me, somebody gets out of somebody's jail, it should be gone at the very least demoted and moved on. They have to be responsible, ultimately. Let's let's watch this space, see what happens. So the gate staff, yeah. When I'm talking about mirrors under a vehicle, you know, I've seen them. It's literally a trolley with wheels and it's got a mirror. I believe it's concave. Yeah, you put it under a vehicle. I've seen it in action. You can see under that vehicle, yeah. Diplomatic police, they use them on diplomatic vehicles. Good enough them, good enough for the prison service. If someone has checked under that vehicle, they are seeing him. So it ain't been checked. Why? I don't know. Inexperience? Maybe somebody working in the gate who shouldn't be there. Maybe somebody who is on light duties or returning from illness with no experience. Shouldn't be there. It don't matter whether you're working with prisoners or not. It's a place where you need experience. Is that person ultimately responsible for his escape? No. I can tell you now, the gate staff, them two that are suspended, will probably take the fall. Uh, and it's wrong. Again, senior officer in the gate, principal officer or CM, and there's a governor. They should all take a hit. Yeah, all of them. Management, in this case, they should be looking at management. So, yeah. And I've also been told by several sources that Wandsworth has another gate, another lock, maybe. Can't remember what they called it. So the main gate where all the equipment is to search. No one is getting a vehicle in a vehicle lock. The equipment's there and not using it. So maybe this vehicle went out another exit to the prison that shouldn't be used or there for emergencies or whatever, where there was no equipment. I don't know. Maybe it did. So he's had lots of help, hasn't he, really? Cock up after cock up after cock up, but no individual officers, OSGs, who should be escorting or anybody else will be held responsible. And obviously, if nobody's escorting a vehicle, no one's responsible for it, is it? Well, the number one governor should be, because if a vehicle should be escorted to a place and someone should stay with it on duty, that's their job and they're not doing that and they haven't been doing that, security department and governor have got to take that hit. So that's where we are, guys. That's how we got out. Bed sheets, Ooh. seen him in court, bed sheets. All good in the hood, yeah? Universal bed sheet was used with some form of clips on it like we said strapping yeah you could call it strapping why they didn't disclose that before i don't know we all knew it were bed sheets didn't we of course we did we're not stupid and there you go um his appearance in court yeah he's in a gray tracksuit national manhunt police involved all over the press everywhere he's escaped 
I said, E list, cat A, no, none of that. He's in court, a magistrate's court. Um, amazing. There's one person right now who you would have th thought the prison service would have made uh, an E lister, put him in the, uh, the clown tracksuit. It's Khalif, but no, he's in his grey tracksuit in the dock. There you go. False flag, who knows? Thanks for coming. Parting shot as always. St Stephen, come here. Yes, boy. Thanks for having who continue to support the channel. All your comments, input, guests, past, present and future. God bless everyone. I'll see you.